will cry to not step foot on this floor. If we ask her to clean a room, she will not come by herself. I don't understand, you know, I'm like, what happened? You know, is it the stories? She does not like it. Oh, this is actually, this is a baker. He always tells us the main thing here is the tugging at the shirt. Pinched. The people don't like to come here. No, not at night. It's a different vibe in that room. Ooh. Thank you, man. Thanks, man. It's two o'clock right now in the morning. We just got our tour from Alex down here in the kind of tunnel system, the employee area beneath the hotel area. Is she like moving over there? Since I'm here all alone, it's definitely a little bit creepy. I'm gonna turn the lights off now. <laughs> I thought I was hearing like children's footsteps. Right now we have a UV flashlight. This is the first time we're using this technology. Since this room was covered in blood back in the day, we're gonna see if there is anything left. Go down a little bit, yeah. Ugh. It's just, is this the fabric? Oh, can you see that on the camera? Yeah. All of this stuff that we're pointing at, this is all dried substance. Wait, if he had gloves or not, he probably was wearing some sort of I glove when he was chopping up the awesome person. A leg. And a coffin. Right? Yep. Use your voice and talk to us. 1.8, 1.8. 6.2! Jesus, hold on. What, what's going on? What, what's going on? So we're standing right now. Chicha Hollow. Palmer House Hotel. Hit Stanley. This area right here is the slaughter pit. Do this, baby. Texas. This is supposedly the most haunted city in Texas and tonight we're here to stay in the hotel right behind me. This is the Gunter Sheraton Hotel which is supposedly within San Antonio one of the most haunted hotels. There are a number of haunted hotels. The Gunter, the Emily Morgan, uh, the Menger, all those hotels are supposedly infested with spirits. But we're here, it's a Saturday night and we have rented the People are out here partying, it is pretty loud. There are some strange characters on the streets, as you can hear. And uh, tonight we have rented the two most haunted rooms in the entire hotel. We have private access to investigate the bar, which is the most haunted place after hours. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. I am excited to get a little spooky. And it is time for the Paranormal Files to take San Antonio. It's kind of weird. 
Are you what the them? hell? We just came into this elevator and look at. There's one of these new hickeys. What's it called? Luggage bracket. Luggage cart. It's actually very funky. Oh, we're going to three. It's weird that it's just right? in here three? alone. Yeah. Look at how nice that camera looks. It's very nice. I can always tell the shots with this. It's cute. Here we are, floor six. This, this is our floor for the night. Six twenty one and six seventeen. Here we go. Six twenty one. Oh, did you just hear something from inside the room? Right there. Did you just hear something from inside the room? Just open the door. Ooh, definitely a little eerie in here. It's kind of mm -hmm. creepy. This is kind of creepy in general. Right? Uh -huh. What? So there's 617, that's the first haunted room. It's kind of, it's kind of a Stephen King hallway. So that was room 621 that we're in, which is supposedly one of the haunted rooms here. And then the second one that we're in is 617, which is supposedly the other most haunted room in the hotel. Got the key right here. We're going to scan it in. So it's got an odd smell. What's that smell? It's a little different smell. It's like noticeably different. This one's a creepier for sure. Wow. It's really nice. Kind of creepy. <laughs> makes me tired. Makes me want to go to bed. Well, now that we're in the rooms, we are gonna start our night. I guess probably go eat, come back, and investigate. What about a funky toilet? I know, it's like slanted. What? No, look, it's not. Look at, well, look at the back of it. That's no, weird. Those weird pipes. Anyways. <laughs> Over and out. Over and out. Yeah. Just hear that bump, 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 bump. Yeah, you hear like a knock. Yeah, I did. Wait, just sit here for a second, see if that happens again, if that's like the AC. Can you do that again if that was you? of the hotel I'm just going to take a look after we got tipped off upstairs by a woman whose office is actually down here apparently this is a very haunted area um, we're just going to take a look walk around there's really no one down here so that's us right now Hmm. Shortlist 
store. definitely kind of creepy in there. Yeah, it's weird that they have a barber shop in the basement of the hotel, isn't it? Measuring their mustache. God, that guy's getting his mustache measured. That's hilarious. <laughs> These people's honeymoon was on my birthday, December 22nd, 1959. Weird. Interesting. So I'll just let you introduce yourself okay. really quickly. Hi, I'm Maricela. So we just ran into these guys. They were ghost hunting in the hallway outside of our room, actually. Uh, Maricela is a manager here at the hotel, and she kind yes. of oversees a lot of different operations, but she has heard reports of paranormal activity from employees that have worked on this specific floor. Can you kind of just from say From employees, from guests. We have um, our employees usually, I had actually a supervisor, and we have we have about 16 different type rooms here. It, it's an old hotel, it's 106 years old, so we have a lot of different types. So we have this one room, it's actually around the corner, and it's a really big room. So you walk in the room and there's a sofa, and then you walk further up, you sit on the bed, and then you go across. It's a pretty large room. Well, one of my supervisors was inspecting it, and she was at, so she's inspecting the room, and she feels something land on her foot, on her leg. So she's thinking, did my back fall? Yeah. So she looks down, and it was actually one of the pillows that sits on the sofa that was tossed to her. And she's wow. the only one in the room. So it was pretty interesting. This hotel is definitely haunted. Um, we've had guests that have um, checked in and checked out immediately. Some of them experience something and they just freak out and leave. Well, why did they check out right away? Have they you get ever, scared. Have you ever heard any like, stories no. from them? We had this one guest that checked into one of our suites and those corner rooms, the 13 and 14, they checked in, they were in the room for a couple hours and then she came down and she says, this, this hotel is haunted and I'm leaving. And she didn't give any details, you know, the desk is like, well, what happened, you know? And she didn't give any details, she just checked out. Um, and it's funny because then another guest attempted to be checked into the same room and the, the guest came down and said, the latch is on the room and the front desk clerk is like, well, there's no way, that room's vacant. And he's like, okay, well, let me go back. So he comes back and then he goes back and he's like, no, the latch is on, I can't enter my room. So then the desk clerk, she's like, let me walk you up there because there's no way. So she walks up here, she opens the door and the door opens 
and he's <laughs> like, I swear to you, that latch was on, and that that's exactly the same suite that this lady, whatever whatever the ghost did, um, scared her away, and she wow. left. This floor is the main floor because of the murder that took place, but honestly, it's everywhere. It's everywhere here. So at the end of the day, a lot of the housekeeping staff have experiences in their rooms yes. around here. Yes, yes. I have a housekeeper, she's been here 20 years, and she, she literally will cry to not step foot on this floor. She, she will not, if we ask her to clean a room, she will not come by herself. Um, I don't understand, you know, I'm like, what happened? You know, is it the stories? And she will not, will not, wow. she does not like it. Um, we have a lot, of, a lot of other housekeepers that, um, everybody kind of stands around and, and says ghost stories a lot here because of whatever experiences and they just start talking or whatnot. But yeah, you hear a lot of different stories all the time. I bet. Time. Oh, Very awesome. interesting. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. That was such an amazing interview. Well, that good was luck. so interesting. Keep yeah. looking. We're going to hopefully have you some know, experiences here tonight. But good luck. Y'all have fun. Thank you. Stories. Yeah, this is my mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fun. That's yeah. <laughs>so it's about 11 o'clock p.m. right now I am here at the Gunter Hotel as you can see behind me the hallway is empty and tonight like I said before I have rented a room 621 which is supposedly the most haunted room in the hotel this is a room that once was 636 which is now moved down the hall 620 and 621 actually used to be split up into two individual rooms and this is where the gruesome murder occurred back in the day a kind of phantom stranger checked into the hotel he brought with him a woman who is believed to have been a prostitute or a lady of the night and he slaughtered her in the room and from detectives reports and now detectives and housekeeping staff that were interviewed later on after the crime said that this was one of the bloodiest scenes they had ever seen in their life. The walls were painted with blood, stained, there were little chunks of flesh and blood splattered across the entire room and the guy was never caught and the body was never truly found because it wasn't in the room. The guy ran out of the hotel with the body. But supposedly that woman's spirit is still here in room 621 which is right here anyways i'm here all alone peyton is home in austin tonight i'm here with my family here's the room key let's get spooky well here we go i'm not gonna lie this is actually really creepy being in here alone let's do this let's do this It's very cold in here. Well, I'm gonna sit down here in this chair. Since I'm here all alone, it's definitely a little bit creepy. I'm gonna turn the lights off now. You know, sometimes doing this kind of stuff is kind of scary, or I shouldn't say kind of, it's very scary. Like right now, I really do not like the vibe that this room is giving me. It is very dark and I feel kind of like a very pressing evil kind of feeling on my chest, like a very, type of vibe yeah usually I'm eager to do this stuff but right now I'm getting like massive chills sorry I just keep thinking I'm like seeing like little, little shadows under the door hello man I'm like
wonder if you can see my hair standing on end right now. I literally got the biggest chill. It's like tingling on top of my skin right now, I'm not gonna lie. Well, um, I'm gonna turn the lights off now, turn on the infrared camera, and uh, here we go, we are in the murder suite. Dude, it is f***ing really cold all of a sudden. I'm like, I don't know if I want to stay in here right now. I'm getting like really bad chills. There we go. There's one last look at the room with the lights on. I'm going to text Peyton, tell her that I love her. And here we go. Um, hello guys, my name is Colin Brown. I am from Austin, Texas, and I'm here to hang out with you tonight. You don't have to come out and talk to me if you don't want to, but I'm not afraid of you and I don't want you to try and scare me. I just want to talk to you and hear what you have to say. So, thanks for letting me into your home. Thanks for letting me come chill here for the night. Night. I heard something from the bathroom. If there is somebody in this room, can you please say something to me? I feel like I just heard a voice of some sort, but I can't tell. Heard some sort of like banging on the pipe in the wall. Was that you? Like I said before, I'm here in the complete darkness. Can barely see, so I don't know if it's shadows, know if it's shadows playing tricks on me or my mind, but like I just keep seeing like amorphous shape shifting out of the corner of my eye, if that makes sense. It's like a black cloud kind of behind like the bathroom door. And it's kind of like pops out from behind the door. Like it wants to come say hi, but I don't know if it's going to. Oh, God damn, I keep getting the chills. Were you killed here in this room? God, this scared the hell out of me. Man, I'm such a little wuss sometimes. I'm very jumpy. Oh my god, damn. That was real fear right there, folks. You heard it. I don't want to stand up. Um, if you were murdered here in this room... I know that that was a very painful ordeal, but can you please come talk to me? I know you were a woman. I don't know your name, but do you remember Albert Knox, the man who supposedly killed you 